Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. What a lovely day. Have you ever seen such rain in your life? I just got a call from Vicky down in Weymouth. She said the tide's not only coming in, it's coming down as well. Well, it will soon be summer and we'll all be uh, smiling again. This is the Case the Lifeboat jacket uh, that stops the boys getting wet. And for all you people that think that the Case the Volunteer Lifeboat is part of the RNLI, they are not part of the RNLI. A lot of people are getting fed up about the migrants and the RNLI bringing them back. I'll be talking about that on Ustream later. But first of all, a bit of a problem. On the 23rd and 24th of this month, we're doing a show called Proper Comedians. And it's going to be filmed for Ustream, a, a series, just like the old comedians back in the 70s. Uh, lots and lots of guys on it. Mick Miller, uh, um, uh, Bobby Davro, uh, Duncan Norvell is uh, having a little comeback. God bless him. Uh, but we've had a few complaints about Jimmy Jones, who was doing night one. Jimmy Jones, the 83-year-old, absolutely filthy, hilarious comedian that got me on track, basically. <clears throat> so it's his fault. Uh, we've had some complaints saying that people are going to protest about Jimmy Jones and he should be cancelled. Well, at Ustream, we don't believe in the cancel culture. And we hear what people are saying about not wanting Jimmy Jones on. So we've taken drastic action. I contacted Jimmy Jones this morning and we booked him for the second night as well. So he's going to be on the 23rd and the 24th. And if you don't like it, don't come. It's as simple uh, as that. Isaac came in this morning, one of our guys, and he said a great expression, something really boils my piss. I thought, oh my God, am I in his parking space or something? No, he said he read in the papers that a bloke had been sent to prison for three years for killing a burglar, a burglar that got in and this man scrapped with him and killed him and did three years. I don't think it was for murder. He would have got more than that. But this was self-defense against a man entering your home. As soon as he enters your home, it's like entering your body, is it? An Englishman's home is his castle. And gosh, you wouldn't want to break into a Scotsman's castle anyway. Uh, but there you go. Um, is that fair? Should, should all rights be taken off the table when a burglar gets in your home, frightens the life out of you, you're normally in bed with your wife and children, you don't know what he's going to do, could be a maniac. Uh, we had some maniacs, masked intruders, go to my friend's house a, a, a while ago and uh, held him up. It's terrifying and traumatic. And what do the police do? Nothing really. So I think if a burglar comes in, if you do kill them, what do you do? Do you phone up the police and say, I've just killed a burglar? No, just bury them at the bottom of the garden. Because burglars don't tell people where they're going burgling, do they? No, they don't. They, um, they don't put a notice up. I'm going to go and burgle 33 Acacia Avenue tomorrow night. If you don't see me, I'll probably be murdered by the bloke in there or bitten by his dog and eaten and fed to the pigs like in the Goodfellas. But no, if you bury them in the garden, you are breaking the law. Of course you are, and I'm not saying that you do. But if you did in a writ of fellas jage that uh, and someone dug your garden up and found him later just say you bought some topsoil off fred west simple i see that matt hancock has been uh, unvoted for doing a bush tucker trial well that's good but I, i've yet to see what the public have written in can we see what the public have sent in what uh, the number of votes do we see that I don't think we do. Anyway, they've given it to two of my fights. Well, three. There's uh, Bugabundi, um, um, uh, Chris Moyles. What a jealous looking, awful bloke he is. Horrible, lefty, horrible, untalented DJ. Oh my God. And um, Boy George. What can you say about Boy George? <laughs> Deluded. I was never a Boy George fan. I met him once and he seemed quite a nice chap, if you like the way he is. There you go. So, right, let's get over to, uh, to Ustream now. Don't forget, we'll see you try and come to the Gaiety Bar. Here's the details on the little crawler, one of Jake's specials. Uh, there's a few tickets left for night two. Why don't you get, get on the thing and then book and come along and see it. It's gonna be great. If you can't make it, you'll be seeing it on Ustream uh, over Christmas. And I'll be on, on Thursday to tell you about Black Friday. Okay, this is not an excerpt from Robinson Crusoe. This is a chance to get yourself a membership, good and cheap, uh, just for the day. 
well, I mean, you can buy an annual one, you know, with a bit of discount. They're working it out now. They're crunching the numbers. But you'll have a year's membership, if you buy on Black Friday, that will carry you right through when we go on the television uh, in December. Great. Oh, I can't wait. That'll upset a few, won't it? So don't forget, come and see Jimmy Jones. Not banned yet. The Gaiety Bar, South Sea, 23rd, 24th of November. OK, I'm going to take my jacket off. Let's turn the page. That's it, this will wake you up and get you going. Bit of rock and roll. Well, I'm the type of guy that never settles down. Where pretty girls are, there you know that I'm around. I love them and I squeeze them to me. Said, don't you worry about me. 85 years of age, got his visa card out, swiped her ass and had a cash back. And when he asked me which one I love the best, I pulled off my shirt and showed a rosy on my chest. He's coming to war, 